Welcome back, my name is Matt and in this final CAD on training video on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro I'm going to show you how to export your video. Exporting is really easy in Premiere because there are presets you can use. But to select the right preset you need to know where you're coming from and where you are going. So what's the format of your footage and what platform do you want to share your video on? Our footage is full HD so that's 1920 by 1080 pixels and it was filmed at 25 frames per second. As for where we're going, it's probably going to be YouTube or Vimeo. Before we start our export, we need to check something here on our timeline. By default, Premiere will include everything covered by this grey bar in the exported video file. It's what Premiere calls the work area. We need to make sure it's covering only the section we want to export. It looks OK here, but it's always worth checking that the bar lines up with the beginning and the end of your edit. Just grab these yellow tabs and Premiere will help you snap them into place. Now it's only covering my edited sequence, so my video is going to start here where the music and title come in, and end here where the music stops. OK, so now we can export. So if you go up to the menu bar at the top and click on File, and now scroll down to Export here, and select Media. The keyboard shortcut is Ctrl M or Command M on the Mac. That brings up the Export Settings window. This is where you can choose what type of file you want to create. For the format, I'd recommend you just use H.264. This is pretty much standard for video files these days, and it's the format recommended by both YouTube and Vimeo, because it gives you the best quality to file size ratio. Once you've selected that, if you go down to the preset box and click on it, you'll find a long list of presets for different destinations. Let's go for a YouTube preset this time. So if you scroll down and then pick on the one that matches your original footage, so YouTube HD 1080p, 25 is the one we want. You may need to use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to help you scroll up and down the list here. The P stands for progressive. Most footage is shot progressive these days, so be careful not to select anything with an I in it, which stands for interlaced. Interlaced is something different and it will make your video look strange. Once you've selected your format and preset, you're able to see how big your file is probably going to be. Now we need to name the video file and find a place to put it. So if you click on the yellow words here next to output name, that will open up another save as window. We want the file to go to our project folder along with the footage and everything else. So my folder is on the desktop, so let's navigate there and select the folder. Let's rename the file down here. The interview will do. Now press the save button down here. And that's all you really have to do. As you can see, we're going to be exporting video and audio. And this yellow line down here shows us which part of the timeline is going to be exported, which is the section covered by the work area. It all looks good to go. So let's press the export button. Now you will get this encoding window pop up. How long this processing takes depends on the size of your edit and the speed of your computer. With big edits, it could take hours. Luckily, this is a very short edit, so it's not going to take very long. Once it's finished exporting, you should go to your project folder and play the file back using a media player such as VLC to see if it has exported successfully. If it's all OK, then you're done and you can close down Premiere. But before you do that, don't forget to save your project. As I said in an earlier video, you should save your project regularly as you work, just as you would save any Word document. To save, go up here in the File menu and select Save. Alternatively, the keyboard shortcut is the same as it is in Word, Control or Command S. Now to close Premiere, go back to File again and select Exit. On a Mac, you need to go up to the Premiere Pro menu and select Quit Premiere Pro. So there we have the fundamentals of editing using Premiere Pro. I hope these videos have given you a good basic understanding of how to use Premiere, as well as a clear idea of what editing is and the steps involved. If you're new to video editing, it might seem like a lot to take in, but if you give it a go, I'm sure you'll find it easy enough to get to grips with. Thanks for watching this CAD on training series. Have fun and goodbye.